Today, I'm heading back to the good old United States. Well, not really. I lied. Today, I'm heading to Stockholm to check out the city during an overnight layover, then heading back to the USA. Anyways, welcome back to the European city that I frequent most, Prague. You guys already know the drill. Terminal 2 for my Schengen flight. Pulling into gate D1 is Echo India, Sierra India Alpha, an AT20 Neo leased from CDB Aviation. Since its delivery, this nearly 5.5 year old aircraft has been leased out to SAS and its various subsidiaries. Currently, this aircraft is being operated by SAS's Ireland based subsidiary, SAS Connect, hence the Irish registration, despite this aircraft being based at Stockholm Arlanda Airport. Let's get on board to seat 26A. My seat, manufactured for KLM and SAS by German company Recaro, features a literature pocket, tray table, and small storage pocket. The legroom and underseat storage is great, slightly better than Lufthansa's European economy class. On the side of each seat is a coat hanger hook. In terms of the cabin, I really like the atmosphere. Despite the lack of mood lighting, the design of the seats comfy but slim, makes the cabin feel quite airy, open, and modern. Here's our takeoff from runway 24 at Prague. Shortly after takeoff, our flight makes a turn to the north as we inch closer to Sweden. As we reach our cruising altitude, the cabin crew comes around with a hot drink service. Available is tea, coffee, or water. I go for tea with milk. Despite being a full-service airline and being a member of the Lufthansa Group, there is no food or snack service on SAS. At least on other airlines such as Lufthansa, you get a big bottle of water and at least a piece of chocolate. As we fly over the Swedish island of Öland, we begin descending into Stockholm Arlanda Airport. Considering the duration of this flight, just under two hours, the drink service provided to economy passengers on board is average compared to other full-service European carriers. As for the cabin crew, they were above average in terms of their hospitality. As for the Recaro seats on board, their best feature is obviously the USB ports, which gives SIS quite an advantage over its competitors. Earlier in the video, I remarked that the seats on board were comfortable. However, after 1 hour and 30 minutes, I began to take this observation back, as my back began to hurt, despite my body sinking into the soft seat. With that being said, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'm always open to suggestion on how to improve my videos. Have a good day, or night, wherever you are in the world. Peace.